bringing the people behind our food to life. Bees have always fascinated me, and I think part of the fascination is the fear that most people have of, of bees, honeybees, yellow jackets, which are not bees, they're wasps. Uh, all of these things sting, and there are these fierce stories of deaths and terror from bee stings. And so if you're not afraid of something, and everybody else is, it, it makes you feel kind of brave, and it's good for the ego, you know. <laughs> So there's that aspect. And I, I also admire their ability to cope with the environment and to work together. And they're, they're just amazing animals. They're so adapted to do what they do. So I, I just enjoy these creatures and love to watch them, love to look at how they're built to carry pollen and gather it. They, they have these beautifully finely branched hairs because they need to be dust collectors, which is what pollen is, and they have these very special hairs to comb it off their bodies and pack it on their pollen baskets and their back legs. They're, they're just incredible. We'll go see if we can find the queen. Oh, there she is. The honeybee is essential to any crop that needs pollination, which equals about a third of the food we put on our plates. People ask me if this colony collapse disorder, which is the, the big scare that we're hearing so much about lately, is here. And then I just chase them down with a little smoke. So they say that in the East Coast, where it seems to be very prevalent, that the colonies, the bees in the colony just disappear. And it can happen very quickly. So the beekeeper goes out one week and the bees are there and they look really good and they're strong and he comes back the next week and there's not a bee left in the colony. I think it's a very confusing disorder. Personally, I, I think it's a series of stresses that we put on bees, especially in this country. And added to that would be the stresses of the way the environment is changing so quickly and bees and other organisms don't quite have time to adapt, so we see strange things happening. And I think it could be multiple factors. I don't think they will find one specific cause that will explain all the colony disappearance. A lot depends on how we respond to the problem, whether we just shrug our shoulders and say, well, you know, we, we, we can deal with it. Uh, we, we have other bees, other kinds of bees. I mean, other bees are wonderful, and, and don't misunderstand me. Bees, all creatures, are, are quite fascinating. And I, I just, but I think that there's something inherently wrong with what we're doing as a very intelligent being. We can manipulate things that other organisms don't quite have that same capacity. And I, I think we have to really take a step back and look at what we're doing. And if we don't do that, then I, I don't think we will solve the problem. And yes, then we'll lose the honeybees and probably our species as well.